Hey Wishlings, it's Sims Wishes here and welcome to my very first episode of the Sims 4 Create a Sim Randomized Family Challenge. So in this series, I randomize two parents and then those parents will create two teens, two children and two toddlers. But unlike my other Create a Sim series, we'll be giving the whole family a makeover as well. So I randomize each individual five times and we then um, and then we uh, give them a makeover, each individual person, without changing their facial features at all and trying to sort of keep with their look. So a lot of other creator sim people will alter the face shape, etc. I try to keep them looking the way that they were made according to random generation and then just make them look as pretty or nice or interesting as possible. So let's get started. I hope that you like this new series. So we're going to be starting by creating the mum. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll five times uh, to create the parents of the mum. Also, just a little tip, this is actually how I create all my sims. I always use randomization. Okay, let's see how we go. This is roll one, roll two, oops, sorry, I didn't realize that was on there. So roll one, roll two, roll three, roll four, and roll five. Okay, cool looking sim. Okay, I want to get a guy here. This is going to be the dad of the mum of the family. So roll one, roll two, three, four, five. Okay, and this is the dad. So we're going to blend the genetics of these two together and create the mum of this family. Let's see what she looks like. Okay, roll one, two, three, four. And five, this will be the mum. Okay, cool. And as I mentioned before, we're just going to make her look as pretty and awesome as possible. And I also want to sort of stick with um, her face shape and body shape and we'll just sort of style her around that. So what we will do, we will fix up the eyebrows. They're a little bit thick, so let's thin them out a little bit. Maybe even reshape them. I'm thinking a flatter, flatter brow might be nice on her. And I'm going to keep the hair. I actually quite like the look of that hair. There we go. I think that brow's great. I think we should style the rest of her look around that hair. So let's see if there's a dress with the similar co um, colors to the hair piece. That would work well with this and work with her body shape as well. Hmm, maybe not that one. And remember, she's going to be a mum as well. So keep that in mind too. So I want to try and find... This is a black dress. Actually, that would be, that's actually quite cool. That is her hair. Let's go with that one. I'm thinking we'll add a bit of jewelry either on her wrist or on her neck that accentuates the red on her hair pieces. Let's see what we can find. What's red in here? Some beads. Mm, beads, not feeling the beads. Maybe we'll go for a little bracelet. I think a little red bracelet will do quite nicely with, with the hair piece. I'm thinking these ones. There we go. A little bit of red to go with the hair and we'll give her some pretty makeup. We've got to go with some red lips, don't we? So go with the hair piece. Obviously some eyeliner. Really opens up the eyes. I think that one was good. And I'll give her some eyeshadow as well. Maybe some dark. Ooh, that's quite cool. There we go. How cute, right? Okay, so let's go formal. Okay, we've got to change that. We need a pretty dress. I'm going to keep that hair as well for the formal because why not? It looks great. Something like that could be wonderful with her. Uh, it suits her um, whole look there. Actually, I'm actually going to keep that and let's put some shoes on. I forgot to put shoes on the other outfit, didn't I? Oh, and I realize she's a teen. We've got to age her up to an adult. That's important. She looks pretty much the same though. Okay, we'll give her some shoes. So obviously part of this challenge, the whole challenge really is to try and make, create the coolest looking family out of um, randomized genetics. That's what it's all about. Okay, let's try adding some earrings. See if there's any good earrings we can. Or maybe some black. Just some black ones might be okay. Mm, actually, I'm going against earrings. Let's give her some makeup though. Red lips eyeliner 
Maybe we'll get some blush this time. And maybe some more dramatic eyes. Like a winged eyeliner with a red winged eyeliner could be cool. There we go. Beautiful. That's the look at athletic. Athletic, I'm, I'm going to change your hair for athletic because you don't really want <laughs> flowers in your hair while you're running. So let's see if we can find a ponytail that kind of suits. Maybe even pigtails could be cool. Yeah, let's go pigtails. And give us some, um, I think some sunnies would be good. Yeah, let's go with that. Love it. Sleepwear, once again, I think we'll go pigtails. Just like an hour wear. You know, change the shoes. Got little feet. Little feet. Let's go bunny slippers. Party outfit. Oh, do you know what? I kind of like that cowboy hat. Let's let's stick with that look. We'll just change the outfit. And all the roses in the back there. Let's expand on the cowboy thing. Let's see if we can find. Cool. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. We got an orange singlet. Hmm. All right, maybe you can go with like a. Oh, one of these might be all right too. Mm, not too. I'll go. Maybe we'll go with some pants. Let's find some like ripped jeans, some casual ripped jeans. Maybe one of those ones. Yeah, and then we'll get a nice, a good top to match that. Maybe that. And that goes with her little red, red flowers in her hair. And obviously, we've got to change the shoes as well. So we can either go um, boots, which now might be a bit too country with that nice top, and she is, it is a party wear, so, um, but I don't want to go like full on heels. So maybe some wedges might do the trick. Mm, still not convinced of that. Maybe some oh, little heel, there we go, little heel boots. I hope you have very little feet. Maybe I'll go black ones though, match a hat. Yeah, that's better. Cowgirl, uh, let's give her some a little bit of makeup, just a just a touch. Okay, I'm gonna just go light, just light, a um, little bit of eyeliner, and just go some shiny eyes there. Cool. And let's see her swimwear. All right, I think we will go with pigtails for the hair again. I'm just sticking the pigtails on her, and I feel like a one piece will suit her best. There we go. All right, so this is the mum of the family. Looking awesome. And we've got to uh, randomize a personality for her. I've got a randomized app on my phone. So I'm gonna use that to find her uh, traits. So she's number 38, so I'm gonna count from the back. I know there's 41 traits. So 41, 40, uh, 39, 38. So she's a loner. Let's see what her next trait is. Number nine, three, six, nine. Self-assured. She's a loner. She's self-assured. Uh, also, I should let you know that this family, we, you can download them after this. I'll put them up on the gallery. FYI. So seven, three, six, seven. Okay. She's a loner. She's self-assured and she's hot-headed. All right. Now let's find out her, um, asp her aspiration. Okay. I know there's 21. And I just got 20. So... We'll be going with, so that's 21, 20, so she's, she wants to be a good vampire. You're not a vampire yet, love, but with that hairdo, who knows, maybe you will be. All right, well, let's recreate the dad of the family now. Let's see. This will be interesting to see how this genetics play out. Okay, roll one, roll two, roll three, roll four, and roll five. Okay, this is the mum. Let's get... Uh, the dad of the dad. <laughs> well, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. And now let's create dad. This cool little family we're creating here. Whoops. Okay, roll one, two, three, four. What a different genetics here. Roll five, this is the dad. Okay, cool. Okay, so we'll remove those two. I think this is a fun way to create some really unique looking sims because what I find is a lot of people will create similar look, similar looking sims. Oh, I forgot something. Oh, he's, he's actually a cool looking guy. We forgot to name the mum. So I'm going to randomize her name. Her name is going to be 
Charlotte, beautiful. Charlotte Escobar, wonderful. I love that name. Okay, so now, now we're moving on to the dad. Hmm, he's cool. I'm going to keep that hair in the outfit. I, I don't go too full on with the guy's outfits because most of the time they're half decent. I think that's pretty good. Let's move on to formal. Okay, but that's not so good. I'm going to change the top there. Um, something that suits the pants. Yeah, it'll be good. I'll get the shoes to match a bit better as well. So like a lighter blue, a blue color or a blue, blue. Hmm. Let's go blue and give, give him some socks. Give the poor man some socks. There we go. I don't get men's clothes that much. <laughs> I'm, I'm not big, big on men, men's fashion. Athletic. Um, sure, let's just give him a hat though. Just I feel like he wants to wear a hat right now. Mm, not one of those ones though. Let's give him an orange hat. He's wearing an orange shirt. Cool. Sleepwear. Ah, uh, it's nerdy and wonderful. You know what? I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. I like it. Party. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the bottom half, casual, and change the shirt to suit. If you're going to a house party, you don't you know you don't really want to wear a tie and <laughs> whatnot. So, uh, what would he wear? What would he wear? Maybe something like this. Striped. Mm, we've got the red pants. Maybe uh, black. Okay. But his shoes are like a navy blue, so maybe I should match that a bit more. Difficult. Mm, okay, I'm turning off this top. <laughs> Let's try a different one. Maybe one of these ones. Yeah. Okay, that one. There we go. Let's go with that one. Okay, and swimwear. Uh, I don't think that hat suit do, but shorts do. Awesome, and now we're going to give him some traits. So what's the husband going to be like? Um, okay, bring up my randomizer app here. Okay, 19, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. He's clumsy. He's a clumsy guy. What else we got? 15, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. Music lover. And number one, he's also athletic. Interesting, clumsy. Music, athletic. All right, and now we need some aspirations here. Number 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. He wants to be a master chef. He, he has no aspirations around being a master chef, but he wants to be a master chef. He does. Okay, let's give him a name. His name is Sullivan, and his last name is Radford. Okay, Sullivan, Sullivan Radford and Charlotte Escobar. What a couple. Okay, let's start making their kids now. See what the, this blend of genetics will do here, huh? Okay, we're going to do the boys' teens. Roll one. Okay, roll two. Roll three. Roll four. And roll five. This will be the son. Okay, he's got long hair. I'm going to change that hair. Not doing it for me. Might change the brows as well. Okay, so... What's going to look like? Maybe something like that, but he needs... Mm, still not feeling that either. That one's okay. And this one's got this surfer guy look. He could get away with it, because it's it's kind of like that slick back hair that he was born with, but it's just a bit more flowy. Well, at least it just added some volume to his hair. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, I'm going to change the brows. Um, so you're gonna, mm, not, not those ones. Let's get some... Man brows. Man brows. I don't know exactly what kind of brows I'm looking for. I'm just going to flick there. Those ones. Found them. Uh, maybe I'll give him a bit of facial hair too. Can't go too bad with facial hair, I think. Depends on the face shape. But that is quite good. Or we could just get some, a little bit of gruff going. There we go. Yes, I think that's much better. Just a little bit of gruff. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to um, change the top to sort of match the pants. So I'm just going to make it a bit cash. A bit cash, I think. Not that one. Not that cash. There, there we go. Let's go with that and some um, different shoes. What kind of shoes? There you go. So he's kind of like super cash, beach bummy kind of guy. There you go. Uh, formal. Oh, look at that. 
And look at that. I don't, I don't know. I just think that the, the top's not that formal. I'm just going to put a suit jacket. What if I put it in a really dark suit jacket? Mm, that's not dark enough. What's going to go with that is pants and shoes because I'm thinking I want to stick with the pants and shoes. Something about them just... But none of this is matching up. Damn you, Sims. Oh no, that's not working. What about that one? There we go. That, that'll work. That'll, that'll do. Okay. Athletic. Ah. I want to expand on those pants. Pants will be the focus of this. Ah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, sleepwear. I'm going to go with a white top. I don't know. I'm never a fan of these shoes. They're so weird looking. Uh, party. Ah, let's expand on the glasses. Like he's going to keep the glasses. And we'll just give him a different top. Party top. Well, that's not... Like, he looks really cool except for the glasses. <laughs> so you go crazy blue. Crazy blue. This guy's legs is crazy blue. Oh, oh my gosh. One of these blue. There. Party. He's in party mode now. Love it. And swimwear. Awesome. So this is... This is the first son of the family. He, he looks like an interesting guy. Let's see what kind of personality he gets. So I'm going to bring out my... Um, generator again. 17, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. He's childish. Oh my god, I think that suits him. I'm just going to say that. Um, 16. So that's perfectionist. Okay, well, well it's very it's child, childish, but he wants everything to be perfect. Okay, let's see the aspiration, shall we? Okay, we've got um, 19. So, 21, 2019, so he's a party animal, oh my god, this guy, this personality, perfect for him. Okay, we'll give him a name, his name is Malcolm, oh, okay, I'm interested to see what the daughter's going to look like for these two. Not a bad little family, as you can see, genetics can make some pretty cool looking people, and like, like you look at all these other creators and videos, uh, I just, you know, when they, like, you know, playing with the face features and that. I actually think you can get more unique looking sims using genetics personally. It's just how I like to make sims. And why not? Okay, so roll one, roll two, roll three, roll four, and roll five. Let's see yet. Oh, she looks a lot like her dad. Cool. Do you know what? Let's expand on that little, I like that little cropped hairdo. And that little outfit's great. We just need to change her shoes. Either white shoes or that purpley colour like her top would be great, actually. Hmm, let's see what we can find. Something a little casual. Mm, maybe not those, those ones. I need some purple shoes. Oh, those ones are right. Mm, yeah, let's, let's stick with these ones. Maybe we'll get her a little bracelet. Let's get a bracelet. Mmm. Not, not, not feeling that one. Maybe a little gold or beads. I always like to make the um, jewelry match like the top. It's a thing I do. Mmm. Or you just go for a standard silver. Because that's always a good way to go. It's just a little silver band. That's cute. Okay, let's give her some makeup. Maybe I can get her some earrings. If I do, I'm feeling the feather ones. Or maybe in pink though. Yeah, let's go feather earrings. A little bit of you know ethereal vibe. Okay, eyeliner. Eyeliner's a must. It just makes her eyes pop. Looks awesome. A bit of pink. Look at that. Doesn't that just make her eyes just go woo? And we'll get her some lips to go with it. Maybe there's some lighter lips just because she's got such so much going with on with the eyes. And uh, cheeks. Do you want pink, slightly pinker cheeks? There we go. Cool. All right. Let's see the uh, formal. What kind of formal outfit we can go with? Obviously, we're going to get a dress. I have a feel 
feeling of what kind of dress you want to go with. One of these ones. Oh, not not that one though. That is that is gorgeous on her. Okay, let's try some different shoes. Yep, right color. That's what we want. Okay, we're gonna get into the makeup to go with this as well. Gotta nail this makeup. Okay, so we want a bit of extra wing going there because yes, we have green. I like that. Oh, it's too green. Way too green. It's not the look we want. We want that musky green to go with the dress. If, or even dark, and, but that doesn't, it just doesn't look right. Let's keep having a look through the options. Yeah, that does not look right. Yeah, but no. Now we'll go a brown. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's get some lips. I think, ooh, I wonder if you could go with a green lip. Was that going to go too well? I actually think that green look looks awesome. Or is that just me being crazy? Maybe I should go a tinge of green. I'll just, let's go all green. Because I'm crazy. Okay, we'll give her some, let's see if some earrings will work. If not, I'm not too bothered because I think she looks wonderful. She's just a little bit different. And difference, difference great. Okay, now let's not worry about the earrings. It's detracting from the elegant dress. Awesome. Okay, we got athletic. Yeah, I like that. Let's just make the shoes match colors. Oh, big shoes. Uh, let's just go with these ones. Yes. And actually, let's get some sunnies on her. Uh, these ones. Sweet. Okay, sleepwear. Yeah, that's fine. Party. Let's work on with that. I think we can work with that. Let's give her a necklace. I like to work with the outfits I've got if I can. There, that necklace. That's the one. Okay, earrings. Oh, you have one. Does she want one earring? I don't know. One earring thing weirds me out a little bit. <laughs> it just does. One of these ones. Why can't I make two of them? I want two of them. <laughs> um, do we want earrings? What do these ones look like? Oh, they're like... Hmm. Well, okay, no. I think we'll leave the earrings. I'm always... Oh, I can never get the earrings look right. Okay, makeup. We're getting some eyeliner. It's always a must. Lips, I think we'll just go some light gloss. Wonderful. And makeup wise, I don't want to go too hardcore. We'll just go with some, oh, is there a bluish color? Just light blue. To go with blue in a top. Actually, I think I want to make her lips pink then because that, because she's got the neutral lips. It doesn't really, oh. Yeah, change my mind. I think I want the eyes to be more match her eye color like that. Oh, oh my god. I am too indecisive. Oh, that is cool. But then it doesn't match her outfit that much. But I yeah, oh okay, I'm changing I'm gonna I'm gonna keep playing around with that. Um eyes. So now you can sort of get to hear me just rambling to myself while I'm trying to give my sim thing. There, perfect. Just sit all subtle and simple. <laughs> yeah, isn't this fun? Just listening to me ramble while I try to create sims. <laughs> okay. Um let's just make get a simple black two piece, I think. Wonderful. Okay, and we'll give her a name. Her name is Heidi. And we've got to give her a personality, so let's see what we get. Okay. Uh, 29, so there's 41, 41, 40, 39, 36, 37, 36, 5, 4, 32, 31, 30, 29. She's jealous. Ooh. Okay, what else we got? 24, 29, 28, 27, 5, 2, 4. She's, she's jealous, but she's a bro. Okay, let's get our aspirations, shall we? Okay, what do we got? Nine. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. She wants a big, happy family. Wonderful. Okay, let's do the kitties now for this random genetics family we're creating here. <laughs> okay, do one, boys. Roll one. Roll two. Roll three. Roll four. Roll five. This is the sun. Okay pink hat. I don't like, I don't really tend to make over the kids out as much. I'm going to top match the hat because it's just a thing. Because most of the kids outfits look pretty fine and most, most kids outfits aren't, don't really need to coordinate I don't think. Or is that just me? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to keep most of these outfits. Yeah that's fine. That's fine. And because I want to get to the part where I'm, I'm just going to age him up and see what he looked like as an adult because it's always fun to see. So um, let's have a look at him and then when we age him back to a kid we'll give him a personality and a name. So let's just see into the future the kind of guy he'll look like. Oh lovely! He's got a pointy beard, some glasses and it looks like he may be a sheriff. Good work. Okay. Good work little fellow and we'll give you some um, aspirations here. So okay two, 29 I got here so I, got, I go 2. Uh, what am I doing? 9. I So 20 uh, 29, uh, 9, 10, 11, okay, I'll just go 11, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, don't mind me, I'm just trying to figure out randomization as I go, obviously, alright, let's give him a name, his name is Finn, Finn Escobar, okay, good, good, doing the daughter now, let's see what we get, okay, roll one, two, three, four, and five. Ooh, cute little bear, bear top. Love the shoes, love the shoes. Okay, let's see the outfits. We got our formal, athletic, sleepwear, party, and swimwear. Cool, actually I like all that. I'm gonna change any of it. And we'll give Aja up to see what she would look like as an adult, let's see. All right. Very cool. She's a mix of both. Absolute mix of both, hey. Awesome. And we'll give her a name. Her name is Yolanda. And we'll randomize a trait. Um, okay. So I got 17, so I'm gonna go one. There's one trait, then seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She's a hot headed. Oh, I forgot the aspiration for the other guy. Um, okay, I forgot four for her social. Oops, oops, didn't click. Select it. She's social. She's a hot-headed social girl. What was Finn? Finn is three, so he's an active, active child. Okay, now we're going to do two toddlers to finish this little random family off. So, see what we get. Okay, well, one, two, three four, five. Alright, well, we'll have a look at his outfit. Little fox jumper. I'm going to change the kid outfits because, you know, they're, they're just wonderful. Like, look, look at those glasses. Why wouldn't you want to put them on your child? <laughs> and it's party awesome. And the fun bit's just looking at what he'll age up to be like. Let's, let's see. Oh, look at this guy. He's a gangster. Gangster. He's going to get a name too. His name is Caden. And his trait, here we go. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Inquisitive. Ah. Oh. So if you, uh, obviously, once I'm done this family, you guys can download it off the gallery and play them if you like. If you did, it'd be interested to see uh, how they went, like what they're like to the play with. Okay. Um, last one, daughter, Todd Lowell. Well, one, two, three, four. And five. Okay, and let's flick through his little outfits. Um, oh well, <laughs> sleepwear and party. And now to so just have a look at her as an adult because that's always fun. All right, ponytail. She looks like, like the brother we just aged up before, actually, in the face shape. And we'll give her a name. 
Her name is Lindsay. Let's see what little person our little baby Lindsay will have. Four. So she's fussy. Fussy. All right, cool. Well, let's uh, recap this little family we've created here, shall we? So we had uh, Charlotte Escobar, the mum. Flowers in her hair. Um, Sullivan Ranford, the dad. First son, who's a teen, his name's Malcolm. He's a party animal, childish and a perfectionist. Heidi, she uh, wants to have a family. She's jealous in a row. <laughs> uh, Finn has a little pink hat. He's a geeky kid. Yolanda is a bit hot-headed. She wants to make friends. Caden is inquisitive. And little, little Lindsay is a fussy, fussy girl. Alrighty, so um, that's the end of this episode. Which means, who was your favourite? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget that you can download this family. Um, just look up hashtag Sims Wishes to find them. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, Wishlings. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And happy simming, everyone.